All right, so we have to save this little boy, or maybe possibly a girl, or whatever gender it is. I'm going to assume it's transgender. But regardless, there's some evil pigs that wear clothing and belts with skulls on them in the in these woods. They look like biker, like they look like biker gang pigs. So, like, I don't know. There's a motorcycle gang in the woods? Huh? <laughs> okay, maybe not. But regardless, there is, because I say there is. In fact, all these evil pigs, they're part of a biker gang. Except, see, back in ye old times of this game, there were no motorcycles. There were only birds. So they're a bird flying gang. What's the bird flying gang called? They're called the, uh, the the mysterious fiery pigs of social awareness. Yes. That was a sudden snap. Just instantly. <laughs> So it is a girl, eh? Yes, look at my crotch. Wow, what's with that getup? Well, whatever. So, where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came and... And... Miss, Miss Tetra. Oh, oh, thank goodness you're safe. When I saw you get dropped by that summit, Oh, wait, dropped on the summit. Pfft. I thought you for sure you'd... Summit? So that bird dropped me on top of a mountain? Well, wasn't that nice of it. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go! Time to repay our debt to that bird and fool. But miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on! Come on! Follow me! To the safe room! Come on! I've covered wars, you know. Hey. Oi, big brother! My voice changes all the time. <laughs> oh, hi sister that I see all the time. What a, what a surprise meeting you here. I mean, kind of live here, but yeah. What are you doing up here? Oh, anyways. Oh, yeah. Plot development. Bye, sister. Don't do it, Link. Don't do it, Link. Don't do it, Link. Don't do it, Link. Link, don't... Oh, dumbass. Ugh. Stupid kid. Get a hold of yourself. She's gone. There's nothing you can do. And yes, gravity does exist. What? You want to come with us on our ship? Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates, you know. Pirates! The terror of the seas. What do we get out of bringing up some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. Haha, <laughs> I see what you did there. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us, now does it? And how do you figure that? And, what, and how do you figure that? He's kind of like a Shadow the Hedgehog voice. Kind of like Coops in Paper Mario and Thousand Year Door. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Just who are you? And where do you get off butting in on someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if you big, bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island, that poor girl wouldn't have gotten snatched away by that bird. And just what do you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering Chaos Emeralds, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't any of you heard word that young girls have been getting kidnapped? Uh, young girls getting kidnapped. From all regions of the Great Sea. It's Paddle Bear! 
No matter whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears, no, with long ears like yours, have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, the young girl who was just kidnapped from the, this island also has long, long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is that the bird mistook that poor girl for you, and that's why I grabbed her. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was young my son here who saved you from the monsters in the forest, wasn't it? Is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that the burden kidnapped both of you and my son's sister. No, wait, no. Kidnapped both you and my son's. Yeah, both you and my son's sister. I read it correctly. It just sounds so stupid. <laughs> she has, has made its foul nest in the north on the heights on the, of, the fors of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fort. No, the Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where. So. What are you going to do? Under this cir under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable to give my son a little help. Now, wouldn't it? Huh, I don't need you to tell me that. So basically, after a bunch of uh, a bunch of talking and about the Forsaken Fortress, basically, um, she agrees to let uh, Tetra agrees to let Link or my son go along with everybody. And it's like, fine, you can come with us, and you can rescue your sister, and that's all. So for a little bit, you are a pirate, and it's like, and basically it's saying, don't get all weepy-eyed or homesick, we'll throw you off board, blah, 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 we're pirates, we're brutal, we're getting the point across by saying that if you don't follow rules, you're pretty much dead. Yeah, blah, 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 yeah, Errol's kidnapped, you heard. Actually, you didn't have to hear, you're walking around all the time, didn't you fucking see it? Anyways. Talk to Grandmama. What is it, my son? Please, tell Grandma what's troubling you. What's up with old people talking to third person? I mean, really. I mean, really. So go up here, and then it's like, whoa, what the fuck? And so you head back down, and it's like, Grandmama! Where'd you put the prune juice? My son. Is this what you were looking for? Oh no, I'm so sad to see that shield. <laughs> Take it with you. You got the hero's shield. This, this is the legendary shield, said to have been used by the hero himself. Hold R to defend yourself. You can also hold R to defend while L targeting. <laughs> Just standing in that position. <laughs> yeah, and then the grandma's all like, uh, Your sister was kidnapped. Uh, and then you're like, Don't worry, Grandmama. Just drink your prune juice. And I'm gonna go save our by my uh, my sister. Yeah, my sister slash mother. Since I'm her son, I'm my son. But let's not get into the paradox of that. Anyways, yeah. Now we have our shield, and we're all like, charge! Do, 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 do. Hey, Tetra, charge! <laughs> Crab battle! Okay, yeah, let's not fuck around any longer. Well, that's a decrepit old shield. Are you sure you can still use that thing? Are you going to get splinters and cry? What a bitch. Yes, I'm ready. Bitch. Good luck, my son! Good luck finding uh, G G Gabrielson. Take care of yourself.
and all along, I was drinking my prune juice. Grandmama, drink your prune juice! Ugh, how much longer is this thing going to go on, do you think? Do you have an, do you have an estimate? Are you sure you shouldn't just quit right now? Seriously, think about it. I could tell you, you're just going to get some more sentiment. You know, you're just going to get more sentimental just from here on out. Blah, blah, blah. And now she's pretty much just going to be a bitch and insult him the entire time. That's that's what this part's all about. And then he's all like, angry face. You're making me rage, Tetra. You're making me rage. And so... You're tearing me apart, Lisa! Except a little bit less emotional and then it kind of matches the movie. Ooh. I want to drop, yes. You, yes, you. You are dead, blah, blah, blah. Heavy references. First off, you gotta press this switch. This is the only easy part. So yeah, this bucktooth douchebag is like, yeah, hit the goddamn switch, and then all of these go up. Why do we have this room in here? Well, you see, we like to practice our piracy, you know, our whole swinging on things, uh, uh stuff. See, cause our pirates, we're professionals when it comes to swinging on lamps. Let's do this! Huh? Huh! Basically, he's explaining how you could just jump onto a rope and then press A to let go, and uh, and then you know all that jazz, and how to hop platform to platform. Pretty sexy stuff, don't you agree? Yep. Oh no, they only stay raised for a little while. It adds a little extra flavor. It spices it up a little. It adds a challenge, Kakarot. So, let's go ahead and get this shit done, shall we? It will probably take you at least one... Oh, no, why is that even highlighted? Like, what's the point? It's, it will probably take you at least one year before you are good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year, one tough year, full of bumps and bruises. Why is one year highlighted? Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Oh, so if I take 364 days, you'll reward me. Cool story, bro. All right. God, herpa derpa. All right. I've been working at this for a long time now. 364 days of hard work, and it's all about to pay off. Finally, I can do this. <sighs> I'm gonna get that reward because I'm gonna do this under a year. Here we go. The trickiest one of all. Now! What? You did it already? Yeah, that's right. It took me 364 days and I mastered it. Under a year, though. You owe me a reward. I. I wonder if it's okay to just give it to him. Ha! You didn't expect me to do it in under a year. You can have the treasure in that chest. Okay, so basically, I go in and then I say, Whoa, that's a very nice chest you have. And then I open it up. 